Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will be going over Qantas, what it is, how to set up your wallet, encrypt it and back it up, and how to mine it using Awesome Miner. Please note that everything covered here is my personal opinion and not financial advice. With that being said, let's get started. Qantas is a new cryptocurrency focused on the rarity of privacy. Besides your normal crypto features uh, being private, Decentralized and secure, one feature that caught my attention was the ability to allow for peer-to-peer -peer internet file sharing. Qantas launched a few months ago, I believe in April of this year, and as you can see here on their roadmap, what they have done and what they have planned from now till quarter four of this year. In quarter two, uh, they announced the development of QNet, a decentralized tool um, integrated in the Qantas wallet, allowing for instant messaging with end-to-end -end encryption, and QHidden, a privacy tool that allows that offers special data embedding using stegna, steganography with cryptographic encryption, providing the ability to transfer concealed information uh, data within a document or image. Now, the QHidden is a technology I find really interesting and uh, who knows it might be a cool way of storing sensitive data in plain sight. I'm very much looking forward uh, to seeing more details on that technology that they are um, working on. And you can find more details about Qantas on their Bitcoin talk thread and let's go over there. And you can see the details here, their coin supply is at 15 million Quans, and their ticker is Quan, Q-U-A-N. The algorithm they use is script, um, and block time is 55 seconds with a 25 megabyte block size. It is a masternode coin, and the masternode collateral is 5,000 Quans. Block rewards for mining is 55 Quans. So, um... This coin pretty much does a little bit of everything. You have proof of work, there's a proof of stake rewards, and master node rewards. So let's get started with the wallet. Uh, to get the wallet downloaded and installed, we gotta go to their website at Qantas.network. And as you can see here, the site's right here. Click on wallets. And for this video, we're just gonna be doing Windows. So click on Windows and it will download. I've downloaded it already to save some time. So I'm just going to cancel it. And then we're going to go to the downloads folder where I have saved it. So let me just minimize this web browser. And I'm going to double click on this zip file and I'm going to copy uh, this Qantas-QT.exe onto my desktop by right clicking it and left clicking on copy here. So let me close this up while it copies. And over here you can see Qantas-QT. Let's start it up. And we're just gonna click more info when prompted and click run anyway. Now it may take some time for it to sync up with the blockchain, but Oh, let's click allow access and here we are we are in the Qantas wallet as you can see it is out of sync right now and it'll take uh, some time to synchronize with the network you can see it's 12 weeks behind so I'm going to pause the video while it syncs up and then get right back after it's done now that the blockchain is finally synced up, the very first thing I like to do with any new wallet is to encrypt it. So we we'll go to settings over here, click encrypt wallet, and let's choose a password. Enter it twice and then click OK. And then click yes. And the reason why I like to do this first before receiving any funds is to make sure I can encrypt it and then I can decrypt it and get back into it so I clicked OK and we're gonna restart the Qantas wallet
once it restarts, I'm gonna unlock the wallet to make sure that the passcode I have to decrypt it is good. So go to settings, unlock wallet, and enter the password. And then we can see over here, if we put the mouse, wallet is encrypted and currently unlock. So after I do that, then the final thing I like to do to prep for the wallet is to back it up. So click on file, backup wallet. And in this example, I'm just going to back it up to the desktop. And give it a file name and click save. So now the wallet is completely set up. We have encrypted it. We have a backup of it. At this point, um, I feel, feel good to start receiving funds into this wallet. And we can see our address by clicking on the receive tab here. And our Qantas address is over here. To get started mining Qantas, I'm going to be using Awesome Miner over here. And you can download Awesome Miner at their website over here, awesomeminer.com, and click download. And you will be able to download and install it. Just uh, make sure that you do have the required software needed to run here, um, which is .NET 4.7 and um, this package for Visual Studio. So with that being said, let's get back to Awesome Miner and configure it to mine Qantas. So here we are with the fresh install of Awesome Miner. I'm going to click on New Miner and click Next and then click on Manage Miner and then Next. I'm going to call this Qantas. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it Qantas. Click next and then for the algorithm I'm going to select script and for software I am going to select CC miner. Now this is because the computer I'm mining with is a NVIDIA GPU but if you do have a AMD graphics card you could select the SG miner. But for this example I'll be selecting CC miner and then I'm going to create a new pool. Now the pool I am going to mine to is the BSOD pool and let me pull that up here so you can take a look at it. And here we can find you can mine Qantas on this pool. Let's verify bus bus bus. Okay, there we go. And down here you can see Uh, it's a script coin. Here we go. Qantas. Qantas is on port 2250. And over here, you would select whatever server is near to your region. For me, it'll be the North American server. And this is the server name. And then I would add port um, 2250 afterwards. So I've copied it all here on a notepad server URL. The password would be C equals quans. As you can see here, as an optional password, you can use this, the coin symbol, and the worker name and my address, Qantas address that I want to mine to is right here. So let's get back to Awesome Miner. So for pool, I'm just going to call it Qantas. And here we're going to paste the server URL, the worker name, which is your Qantas address, the password, which is this C quans, C equal quans. And for coin, I'm going to select unspecified script. Let's scroll up here. And wallet address, again, my Qantas address that I'm mining to. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Next and then Finish and let us start the miner. Now, it might take some time for it to adjust itself, but um, we should be getting shares in a couple of minutes.
So let's go to, while this is going, let's go to uh, the pool here. In here, if you want to see that you're mining to the pool and your shares are being accepted, you can click on wallet. And then you can paste your wallet address here. And click submit. And you can see we have a hash rate and we are um, currently mining. Going back to Awesome Miner, we can see that uh, there is an accepted share and we are mining at 418 kilohashes a second. And um, I'm just going to leave this on for, uh, I don't maybe the rest of the day just to see what how much uh, Qantas um, I am able to mine with this GPU. Anyway, that's it for mining. While I am able to mine Qantas, I, I find it probably better and more profitable to use my current mining rig to mine Ethereum. And if I wanted to accumulate Qantas, um, might be just easier and more cost effective for me to just get it from one of these exchanges that they, cur they are currently on. Now, these are very small exchanges, but um, they are listed if, if mining is not your thing. Well, that's it for this video about Qantas. Uh, if you're interested in the project, want to learn more about it, I'll put a link to the website in the description below. They also have a white paper that you can go over. It's actually a very short one compared to some other white papers that I looked at, but um, you can check it out as well. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.